My name is Catherine Demaria and I'm 14 years old and I'll be teaching you how to change your oil. Before you get started on doing an oil change, there's a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need a funnel and you're going to need whatever kind of filter your car needs and you're going to need the amount of oil that you need to switch it out with and then you're going to need an oil pan to put the old oil in to clean up any messes they might have and then you're going to need a filter wrench that helps you to get off the old filter and you're going to need some wrenches to make sure that you can get off the bolt that lets the oil drain from the oil pan. To start to change your oil, you're going to need to first get your car up on ramps, which I've already done here. So now that you've gotten all the supplies and objects you need in order to do the oil change, let's get started. I got my wrench and it's on this bolt that's attached to the oil pan. All I'm going to do now is keep turning it and oil is going to come shooting out. That's the bolt. Once you get the oil started to drain, it doesn't necessarily like to stop very quickly, so be ready for it to take a really long time, especially if it's cold. So once it starts dripping, then you're okay to go ahead and put the bolt back in. After that, you're going to want to shift your oil pan just a little bit to catch any oil that might come out of the filter. You'll be able to loosen it like that, and then we'll get to a point where you can just technically loosen it by hand. Can you tell us what's happening? <laughs> oh yeah, sure, it's going to get in my hair. <laughs> so once you get the filter out, there's going to be more oil, obviously. And apparently if you're on the right-hand side of the car where the filter is, you're going to get drenched. So, where do the wires stay to the left? Next, you're going to need to get your new oil filter, and you're going to tighten it into place. So then, once you get your new filter, you need to take just a little bit of the old oil and run along this seal right here, so that you can get a good seal on it, so that it won't let any of the oil, like, leak. So you can just tighten it with your hand, you don't need the wrench this time because with the oil on the seal, it will just seal itself. So now I'm going to come out from under the car so I can finish doing everything from the top. So you'll see something with this little oil symbol right here. So you'll just unscrew it and you'll hear it click and then it'll just pull up and it'll come right off like that. Your funnel right here, place it in and then it just helps to keep the oil from spilling as much. When you put it in, it's fairly clear or yellowish color. The old oil is black because of all like the dirt and the grit that it picks up. Because the main function of oil is to really help the engine run smoothly. So. so once you get your oil in and it's all good, then you can remove your funnel. Then you go ahead and put your cap back on. And then that's when you check the dipstick and your oil levels. Do you see like these little dash marks up it? Yeah, that's about full. Just put it back in and you're done. And then there's the end of your oil change. And this is Kevin Demara on how to change your oil in the snow. And don't forget to subscribe to Thinker. She kind of breaks the mold of what we think of as what girls are interested in versus what guys are interested in. She's an individual. Welding, grinding, cutting, sanding. I'd much rather wear grease than makeup. <laughs>